Pamela. And Kate is here. Hi everyone, this is Kate from Life is Trail Running and today I'm going to make... Today we are making chocolate granola. This recipe I came up with about a month ago and it is so delicious and healthy and simple to make. I guarantee you're going to absolutely love it. So I just wanna walk you through uh, the steps here for that. And I've already pre-measured everything. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. Maple syrup, cocoa, cacao, or carob powder, any kind of unsalted nuts, salt, rolled oats, shredded coconut, chia seeds, coconut oil, coconut milk, or any other milk alternative, and then some type of flavoring, whether you wanna use cinnamon, vanilla, orange, peppermint, it's really up to you. So first you have to mix the dry ingredients. So let's just start here. It's a pretty simple recipe. Three cups of rolled oats, Kate will be doing a single batch, and I will be preparing a double batch of the granola. Uh, crushed up nuts of any kind. I chose cashew and almonds, and it's just a half cup of that. In order to chop the nuts, you can place them in a high-powered blender or a food processor. In this batch of granola, I decided to use Brazil nuts. One third of a cup of cocoa. I chose to use carob, um, which is actually uh, from an evergreen tree. It's a little flower, and um, it, it tastes similar to cocoa. Um, it has a lot of antioxidants. Um, it helps with digestion. It's um, all around a really good alternative for um, cocoa that has similar flavor it's very sweet so one third of a cup I'm using double Dutch cocoa powder but I have found cacao powder is also really delicious in this recipe now I'm adding the chia seeds and the salt the next is cinnamon it's one half a teaspoon of cinnamon so you've got all of the dry ingredients mixed in together. And let's see. So just, you know, stir it up. Let me do that. This is actually a pretty simple recipe. The bulk of the work is just measuring the different ingredients. So what you do is you take the wet ingredients and you can just put them in as you go. You don't have to actually combine all the ingredients. When using unrefined coconut oil for this recipe, I like to put it in a small glass dish and then stick it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute just so it becomes a liquid. Now that the dry ingredients are all mixed, you're going to start adding your wet ingredients. And we have one fourth of a cup of maple syrup, which I have here. One fourth of a cup. Um, then it is another one fourth of a cup, um, this time coconut milk. I'm using peppermint oil because I want this granola to taste like Thin Mint cookies. That is it. So I'm just going to stir this up here. It's 
not a super wet consistency. It's more dry and delicious looking. takes a little bit to stir, to stir it, but it's really not that difficult. And I am someone who really does not cook that much. If it has like three ingredients, I will cook it. If not, it's kind of a stretch for me. So today was a little bit of a stretch for me, but to be honest, this is like a super simple recipe. Um, like I said, it's just actually measuring out all of the ingredients. The next step is to, you have to preheat the oven to 350 degrees um, and then you really should have a large baking tray, but um, I don't actually have a baking tray. Honestly, I just didn't feel like going to buy one. So what you do is you have to, if you had a, if you had a tray, you would just line it with parchment paper, aluminum foil, and then you would just put um, this mix in, in a very flat kind of um, arrangement. I'm going to begin spreading this out evenly between the two trays. Now remember, I'm making a double batch, so I needed two large trays, but if you're making a single batch, you can just use one tray. do the equivalent of that using this pan. The oven is already preheated and anyone who loves running knows that oats are such a great um, source of fuel. It's really good for you and it gives you long lasting energy and of course it's always a good snack. It's very filling. Spread the granola evenly on the tray, place in the oven for 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that and we can reconnect in a little bit. Alright, so it has been 15 minutes, so you stir it and then you just place it back in the oven for a little bit. And um, to be honest, I think that this serving and this approach with the pan is just perfect for one person. So, I mean, if you have like a bunch of people that plan on eating um, this granola, then you should definitely spread it out on a large tray. Otherwise, you can just use this use a small pan and then enjoy when you're done so yeah um stir it all up and then i'm going to put it back in the oven for five more minutes and then i'll cool it and then i will um devour it Now let the granola sit out for two to three hours so it can thoroughly cool. Once the granola has cooled, you can place it in an airtight container. Now, it is done. It kind of looks like chocolate rice crispy 
um, breakfast cereal. So, I am going to try this and pretend I haven't already tried it. So let's see here. Oh my god! So good! So good. Whoa. No, seriously guys, this is really good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. I have provided the recipe for this granola in the description below. Take care everyone and run the dirt.